previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. out of here. What? Who are you? Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse. We're over here. No way, no way. You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now. This way. And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Ah! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'd be condemning them to death! Stop staring and get a move on! Well, I can't just abandon them, not after a lifetime of study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel! You gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We just need to get them moving faster! Bingo! We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra. Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on. This might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses!
It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm. Trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus, for a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! He knew the risks, and he still let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still, so brave. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Fermita bomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. 
Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three wither storms? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the wither storm... Lucas! Your friends could still be out there. I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? Petra, I know you're not doing so well, but we're gonna have to keep moving. Hey, moving's not a problem. It's the walking, and the running, and the horseback riding. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's... not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but... he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? I don't think so. <sighs> Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse. Who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You're both members of the Order of the Stone. And what's that? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled! Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I've told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, 
I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Some leftover cobblestone. Might come in handy. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Ruben I said that. He might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Gabriel will be okay. I mean, he's supposed to be... Gabriel, the warrior! And instead, he's... Well, you saw. I guess none of the Order are how we imagine them. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock. And it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig. But we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you want to help us, but this isn't about the past. It's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh! What good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet! Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. 
You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things! Nothing even hurts them! Well... Except... Endermen! Endermen? Jesse's right! The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild! If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off of a Wither storm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Wither storm entirely! It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh! Question is... How to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the Amulet. So if we take the Amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen! Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? us so quickly it just keeps coming for us well we can't stand around and wait for it so what do we do guys I have a plan we are going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try and craft a Ivor well I'll be it is you a pleasure as always Eligard hello my name is Gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted superweapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help. And that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. 
<laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Much further. Rear end is profoundly sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Purlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on. Back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato? You're coming with me. 
It's not much, but it'll help. Looks like another potato. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. A witch's hut. Ah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look. A cake. That's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Did you find any food? Actually, yeah. Some potatoes. But it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp and... She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions! Skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We need to distract them and get out of here. Fine, but how? The rest of you go. I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no. There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Potatoes! Guys, I think we lost him for... Wow. You lost him for wow? What is that? Oh. Wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Well, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. It doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Ah, a little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on. Would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. 
Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. Some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. standing here when this fell. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the paths connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. I first met Reuben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay.
Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. Place just gets weirder and weirder. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Okay. I don't see a way across. Huh. Redstone blocks, some pistons. Wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean... The clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab. Somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. 
You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. She could have fixed this thing right up. Come on. I'll help you. How are you gonna help me when I don't even know where to start? This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people. Just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. The Order of the Nothing. All I know is, the world is depending on us. Then maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You found Eligard, I found Magnus. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. The sooner the better. Okay, a redstone block. Hey, Olivia. You put the block and piston on the bar jet? No. Well, this thing won't start without them. Then I'll get right on it. <coughs> She's gonna be just fine. <coughs> Sometimes people just need a pep talk. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. <laughs> it must be this way. Run! Hey! Over here! Quick! Onto the barge! Jesse! That was 
close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> Soren, is that true? Of course not. Ah. <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushrooms, too. Potionology, volume 24. None of these are enchanting books. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs. <laughs> Revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. Oh, none of these seem to be enchanting books either. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together, that was kind of fun, almost. Look, we might be spread thin, but we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See, we're still funny, and we can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kind of like the wither storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. How I learned to stop worrying and love mining. Hmm. The unabridged Redstone Encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs. An intimate memoir. I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't tried to fight those cursed witches, he could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He was just doing what I asked. It wasn't his fault we got separated. Not really. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Reuben, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. I've told you before. Stay away from lava. <coughs> Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. <sighs> Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Twenty thousand blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box. I've got to be missing something. 
This cyborg character. I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the wither monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? We actually already tried that. I assume it was unsuccessful. Ivor's potions just aren't strong enough to undo this mess he created. Oh, I see. Potion of blindness. Potion of dullness. Potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. Of course you'll be okay. You're Gabriel the warrior. Thank you, Jesse. Your confidence in me is stronger than any potion. Except perhaps a potion of confidence. I wonder if he has one of those. Hmm. Wonder what's in there. Wood planks. Those will be useful. Hmm. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. First, I'll need some sticks. There we go. A good old-fashioned lever. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits more like why wouldn't you secret passageways are cool good point what the are you guys okay we're fine but the lever isn't working anymore Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there. Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. I think those are gas tears. These gas tears. They're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Now that's pretty bright. Am I crazy? Or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Prismarine crystals. 
You've got to be kidding me. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Packed ice. I've only ever heard of this stuff. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plain Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. No way. Is that what I think it is? Soren. Is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh. Alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Any idea how this hopper thing's supposed to work? I have no clue. Ivor can be very confounding when he wants to be. Looks like a regular hopper. That's hooked up to a bunch of Fredstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Hmm. Five slots. Guest tears. Let's try them here. Soren said the Order got these gas tears on their very first mission together. A sea lantern. In you go. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Huh. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. The Order used these crystals to make the Sea Lantern. Packed ice. Let Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. Or did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. the stars the ender dragon with replica ender crystals and all wow i always wondered what it looked like hmm no way out soren what's this thing supposed to be it appears to be an homage to our battle with the ender dragon despite his anger Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. This is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right. That's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it could help me solve the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. <laughs> So, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. 
I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. That was absolutely amazing! They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Hmm, wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Bow and arrow. Great weapons. Hmm, interesting. Looks like a banner about TNT. Hmm, that's redstone. sword. Well, a banner of a sword anyway. Aha! There's another door? Reuben, do you know what to do here? Oh well, it was worth a shot. Soren said he rode on the dragon's back. Hmm. Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? Dragon. Right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, how did these get here? I mean, you can't just move Ender Crystals, right? Jesse, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, have you been lying all this time? No, no! Not exactly. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, 
wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster. We could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. Soren, you cheated. You worse than cheated. You're a fraud! Believe me. I know. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor... Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied. Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard. They agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on her own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. I suppose they do. Well, it worked. Now we know the truth. And if we don't deal with that wither storm that you created, Ivor, none of it will matter. My wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Look, right now, my friends are out there facing that monster you created. So however we got here, we need to move on. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. So, the enchanting book. What do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamonds! Score! So, an axe. I guess I could craft another sword. Awesome! I've never owned a 
diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond sword. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I kinda want to keep the armor I'm already wearing. Really? I mean, Magnus died so I could have it, you know? Well, come to think of it, he would have liked that. Very well. But at least take some for your friends. Sounds good to me. Nice weapon, Jesse. Thanks. Now, let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. For a fortress. I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Good to see you too, Axel. Axel, where's Eligard? Oh, man, you won't believe it. See, at first it all went down like you said. Ride for Soren's fortress, etc., etc. Then we realized that the Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, blast! They've kept the main Wither Storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Eligard ran off to fight that thing, all by herself. She's fighting a Witherstorm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone. ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? They're frauds. The whole order. What? It's kind of a long story. One we don't have time for right now. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. All alone in that cave? I hope she's all right. She will be, as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Do we just go for it, or what? We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh. And I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys. Let's go kick some command block butt. Enderman focus. I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? 
I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren! What are you doing? Dude, what a chicken! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! Need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. Everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say, the minecart or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch it off the ramp like a rocket! <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea! So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh! Look out! Ah! Axel! Lots. Distract that wither storm. Hey, you! Get a load of this! Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. Demolish that command block. Ruben, this is no place for us. Hey! No! No! Ruben, you should. 
shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Whoa. I recognize these people. command block. You understand? Whoa. Why didn't I always carry an enchanted weapon? I'm coming, Ruben! It's doing everything it can to protect the command block. Which means I have to do everything I can to destroy it. Awesome weapon. Don't fail me now. to get up there. The tractor beam! Hey, you! You can stay out of sight. If anything goes wrong, I don't want you caught up in it. Bet you can't catch me!
can count on you. All right, it's time to put an end to this thing. Once and for... Ruben! Hold on, Eddie! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think he'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? Reuben! You know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Rube. Say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and her friends, but I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why, there is something I want to tell you about the Order. The Order of the Stone 
is not what you all believed. We were frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something. But the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They stood by my side, right from the start. Well, and they made fun of me when I deserved it. But that's just how we are. Dang right we are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse. And now, we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on. We traveled through the nether by minecart. How cool is that? But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Finishing what we set out to do. Because there's no way we were going to let a world this cool get torn apart. We did it! Jesse. This nether star is all that remained when the wither storm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.